welcome back everybody to month nine of the TQS block of the month for 2014. It's A to Z for you and me, designed by Janet Stone. My name's Julie Cephalou, and I'm going to walk you through the blocks that we're working on this month. We've got the letters S, Y, and Z. So let's start with the letter S. It's the star of the TQS logo. It's super cute. And this is what it looks like. So it's very easy to make. Um, I'm going to talk about this little green square first. Let me bring out my little demo piece here. So um, I want to just show you how you're going to add these little yellow frame pieces. They're uh, one inch wide strips. I've already put these two side, side ones on. Basically, you're just going to stitch them on with a quarter inch seam, and then I'm going to come on over to the ironing board. I'm going to show you how we're going to press it around to the back. So follow me over here, and I'm going to set my seam first, and we're just going to press it out away from the center. And then we're going to wrap it around to the back. And I'm just going to fold it right over the block and I'm going to press it. And I'm going to use some glue to hold that in place. So I've got, this is a, a little Roxanne's glue based it. I'm just going to put it right here along that seam line. And then we're going to fold that over again and then I'll press that dry. And we'll do that on the other end as well. Let me just show you what it looks like on the front, like that. And then we're gonna just trim the ends, ends even. Bring that back over here. And you just trim these, these ends off even with the sides. And once you've done that, um, you're going to applique the star. And let me just show you on the pattern. You've got your star. I recommend numbering the star points. So I numbered them one, two, three, four, five, and six. That way, once you cut them out, you can easily find which one goes where. Um, I also drew that pattern again on the back side so I have a mirror image of it. And if you've got a light box, you'd be able to use this as a, a placement guide. You could put your square on top of that and place the, the star points um, around here. And then I also wanted to mention that when you put the star points on, you're going to press them um, partially down. You want to make sure you leave the tips unfused so that once you put this on the blue background square, then you can fuse everything in place. So let me show you that blue background square. This is it right here. Um, I suggest that you fold it in half diagonally. And you can just finger press that um, in both directions. And then you can get a better placement for that green square. You can center it really nicely now. and then you can just make sure the points of your square end up on those creases. And then you can um, just put a little bit of glue around the corners here to tack that down. And I would stitch this yellow portion down with a blanket stitch or whatever you're going to use first before you end up fusing all of these points into place. Once you've done that, you'll add the S right here. And then you've got a cute little um, TQS star. Another idea would be to minimize that star and you could make your own little TQS badge. Now we're moving on to the Y block. It's the Yankee puzzle and it's made of a lot of quarter square triangle units and I want to just walk you through uh, some of the trimming that we're going to be doing and some pressing. So down here I've got part of it made already. Um, 
To make the quarter square triangle units, we're going to be making some half square triangles. And then um, I've done this one here. I've taken two of those half square triangle units and put them together so that the opposite colors meet in the middle. And I've drawn a line corner to corner and stitched a quarter inch on each side of that line. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut this in half. And then we're going to press it. So when I press these, I like to uh, press it from the wrong side. Let's go on, go on over here to the, the pressing board and I can show you what I do. I just do a little twist here in the middle. So I want half of the seam allowance to go down and the other half to go up. And I pop those middle stitches open just like that. And I'll go ahead and press that. And then I like to press it from the right side also just to make sure everything got nice and flat. And now I want to show you how we're going to trim that. So come back over here. And we're going to trim these to two inches square. So we're going to use that diagonal line of the ruler. And I want the one inch uh, line to be right there in the middle. And I'm going to get that lined up. And I'm going to trim these two sides here and here. And then we'll turn it around and turn the other, uh, trim the other two sides. And you're going to do that for every colorway. We've got yellow, green, blue, and red. And there you go. So I've made um, the blue section right here. I just want to show you again. You're going to be matching um, right here. You're going to get a nice pinwheel. So you want to make sure that these all match really well when you sew that seam. And from the back side, this is what it looks like so far. I've uh, just twirled all of these seams open and I'm going to do the same thing with this center seam. Again, you're just going to give it a little twist to pop open those, those stitches in the middle. Kind of use your thumb to, to finger press that flat and then you can press it here and here. And I'll go ahead and do that right over here at the, the ironing board. And it just really helps to make this unit lay flat. That's what it looks from the back. And there's the front. And then you're going to put all of these little quadrants together. There's one. There'll be another one right here of the red ones. Sew these up and then you're going to add the letter Y down here. That Y is going to overlap a little bit here. So make sure you sew that seam first and then um, put your little Y, letter Y into place. And then you're done with the Y block. We're on to the Z cross block and I have a couple of things that I need to tell you about on this block. So let's take a look at it. Down here I've got most of it um, stitched and laid out. But I need to show you, um, basically, this block right here. You're making a lot of um, half square triangle units and squares that you're going to sew together. It's, it's very basic and, and simple. The placement of this little guy right here, this is the top of my Z. And um, what, what you're going to do is you're going to put this into posi position right over this square right here in the middle. You're going to match the raw edges here and stitch that. I just uh, did a scant quarter inch seam right here. You have to pull back that uh, release paper first and then stitch that into place. Then you're going to add the background square right sides together mm -hmm. and sew with your quarter inch seam. Once you've done that, then you can press this out this way and you can press this along with it. You'll take that release paper off and press the whole thing into place. And that's just a really good way to line that Z up right with those seams of your block right there. And then I want to mention that on the center of the Z, this part right here, you need to make sure that you reverse that diagonal. So here's the pattern right here. If you use this as the, the pattern to draw, on your uh, fusible web, it's going to be 
going the wrong way, ask me how I know I did it. So just turn it over and trace it on the back and then this is what you'll use to draw that onto the fusible web. Once you cut it out, it'll be going in the right orientation. And again, you can use this as the guide. I would um, put your background fabric right on top. It should fit exactly on those lines and then you can see right where to place that diagonal piece of the letter Z and then press that into place. And then I wanna show you just how I pressed the back of this block. Um, again, I did these little twirly things right here at all of my seams. They just lined up so that I could make that happen. Um, so I'm pressing it from the wrong side and I've got this seam going up and this seam going down and then you just pop those seams open here. You can see that. And then I come over here to the next one and do that same thing again. So these seams are sort of alternating up and down and up and down all the way across. And again, it just lets it um, lay really flat once it's pressed. So that one, really like that. And then you'll sew all of these pieces together and you'll get a perfect Z cross block. And then we're done for month nine of the block of the month and we're getting down to the end. These are the last of our letter blocks. So you'll have the center done. You'll need to add your sashing and then um, we'll see what we've got. I can't wait to see all of the alphabet done and uh, look forward to seeing you next month.